build it. But we've gone for eight feet tall by, I'm not too sure, but it's like 4.1 meters. There you go, you can see the curve. So it goes up to that line. We basically used some rope and put it over there somewhere and then just drew it out. It's got a nice curve. And now we're going to cut them out. We cut one of those, traced it onto the other, and then cut it. And then did the same with the two top bits. And just drew them on symmetrically, and measured up eight feet to get the right size takeoff that we wanted. Now we're gonna cut, draw the centers. That's interesting, because I think that everyone who hasn't got one thinks, I wouldn't mind a camper for that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Can we smile? Early Saturday morning, another day down the jumps. <laughs> I'm afraid of that It's not a phone, it's a high tech camera. <laughs> Cut those bottom bits, brace it. Let's bring a sheet of ply. I wonder if these two inch screws are going to do Oh, it's so big, off. it's sick. Do you reckon that can stop? Are we in the vlog again? Got to finish it first. Right, let's put your bits of wood away, tuck them away, baby. What? You in my kitchen? Oh, right. Oh, I've got a music player out. Quite big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going big. <laughs> Nearly there, just got to screw in the bottom bit, cut that off, nearly done. Yeah, sure. And the excess ply off the top. All right, now we cut the top of the ramp and we're just going to cut this bit so we get a little deck on top so the water doesn't get inside the ramp and rot it all. So, top down. Huge. There's the takeoff finished. It's eight feet tall at the top. I think it's about four point something meters along the bottom. Uh, if you want any details, just drop a comment and uh, I'll give you some more dimensions. Yeah, looks sick at the moment. Can't wait to test it out soon.